What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Goya. This channel is mainly about computer-aided lure design. I use Fusion 360 to do my designs, and a 3D PLA printer to print out the molds for soft plastic baits or just straight out the hard baits. On this channel, there's also videos that are lure design related, so remember to check them out. Today we will do our first hard bait design on the channel, a mouse lure to be exact. So everyone knows what a mouse looks like and we are going to make a field mouse, not a house rat. So a field mouse usually has a bigger head, larger ears, eyes, round body compared to a house rat. And when they swim, they will tuck in the front legs and use the hind legs to kick. Yep, that's the idea. Let's get started.
After the mouse design is completed, I then added the tab tees for the weights and the through wire. I also added the cavities for the tailkeeper and the cavities for the silicon skirts at the end of the leg areas. After I added those cavities, I then split the model in half and then split the tail end of the body so I can access the cavities and install the hardware during the assembly. Yep, there you have it. The complete mouse lure design. I feel the head might be too heavy, so I carve out a little bit of the material. Hopefully that will reduce the weight. I will do the same for this part. And here's the look from the outside. I probably will modify the model so I don't need to carve after I print. Now glue them up. I don't expect to get it right the first time, but just put them together and see how it performs. Maybe I need to add more weights, less weights, more cavities. Once I test it, I should know what to improve for the next round. It doesn't stay upright, um, but I think if I add hook, it should stay upright better. The moment of the truth. Oh no. It's not buoyant enough. Oh well, this is the first trial. I would say this is a prototype and the next version should be better. So for the next version, here's my plan. 
I will print the lure 20% bigger so I can add air chambers in the head and body. I think that should add enough buoyancy. Once the blank is finalized, I will try my first airbrush job. Yep, it's gonna be exciting. So stay tuned. Remember to sub and turn on the notification bell. If you enjoyed this episode, we would appreciate it if you can hit that like button. We'll see you next time.